Hi, I'm David the Bruce, and this is Jungle Queens. And wouldn't you know, we have a serial called Jungle Queen. Yes, and uh, th well, this is part two, and we have three parts in this. And in each of the parts, we um, show um, three to four of the original episodes of Jungle Queen. In the first part, the first three episodes, uh, I highlighted Ruth Roman. And in this, the second part where we show the next three episodes, I want to highlight Lois Collier. Now, Lois Collier um, plays a pretty major role in this. Uh, she's not the Jungle Queen. That's what Ruth Roman does. But, um, Lois Collier comes from the Carolinas, and uh, she was always dreaming when she was a little girl of being a missionary, a Christian missionary to China. And she even went to a, a, a Christian liberal arts college. Yeah. And then at the age of 15, her grandmother chaperoned her to Hollywood. And she saw a, a Hollywood film being made. And she said she was movie struck. From there on, the missionary dream kind of faded away and being in movies became very prominent. And at the age of 19, she started her career. That's pretty good, don't you think? Age 19. And uh, she became uh, one of the leading w women in B films. She never quite made it as an A-lister, but she did the B films. And um, just a quick word: back in the day, you know, the, in the 1940s, etc., before television, when you went to the movies, you didn't go just to see a feature film like you do today. You went to see the feature film, but preceding the feature film was uh, a B film. And um, Sometimes in between the B film and the uh, feature film, there would be uh, a serial, which this is. And uh, it would be a cliffhanger, and it, that's how it would get you to come back. So um, this is what that is, and that's what she's in in this she, with the major part. But she also became Queen of the Bees. That would be a, a film that would show along with a feature film, like I just talked about. And, uh, boy, she did a lot of them, man. Yeah, she had a really darn good career. She did a lot of westerns. She was usually the heroine in, in, the, uh, in the B film, so she's quite prominent. And uh, did a whole bunch of them, including things like the Flying Disc Men from Mars. Uh, definitely B films, right? Yeah. Um, most of them I don't have a bizarre name like that, but I, that just really stood out, stood out in my mind. She also did radio, and then she also did television. She was committed to her craft from beginning to end. Well, what do you say we get into uh, The Jungle Queen, shall we? I'm David the Bruce. Europe, all military experts agree that the European nation which controls Africa controls the southern approaches to Europe. Boys, we aren't safe here. What do you mean? This is the middle jungle. The only territory in all Africa still unexplored. Now, where are the Nazis hiding my friends? There's no mines out here. You'll find your friends there. Who's in charge of Nazi agents here in Tambosa? What now wants you to come with me, Kaiba? I obey the gods.
anywhere near that volcano? I know how you feel, Chuck. It's dangerous for Bob, but he is doing the right thing. By risking his life to save a native just because that mystery gal wants him to? <laughs> oh, come again, Sam. Look, the Germans can't control the middle jungle tribes until that particular native is killed. Why are we here in Africa, Chuck? First to find your uncle, then help him stop Nazis. Bob is already stopping Nazis, as you put it, by saving this Tongili. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I still don't like him having all the fun. I want you to come with me, Kaiba. The bell is a stranger like you. I obey the gods. Kaiba's gods have not destroyed him. Kaiba will still believe that his gods condemned him. It was enemies from across the wide waters who caused the mountain of fire to speak. No man could start such an eruption. Search in the jungle and you will find that I tell the truth. Kaiba returns to Godak. Let him go. Expecting this report. Up to now, I'd hoped for a miracle. Miracles don't happen in Africa. I suppose it's about Pam Courtney. Yes. Up to now, there's been no trace of her or the plane. Has her uncle been located? No. Alan Courtney hasn't returned to Tambosa yet with his safari. It's imperative that we get somebody to him. Question him as soon as possible. British security in the middle jungle is at stake. Crushing the Nazis there quickly depends upon information that only Courtney has. A report from a London agent, Your Excellency. London? I was expecting a report from Africa. This concerns Africa, Your Excellency. Mr. X is sending someone else into the middle jungle to find Alan Courtney. his successor in the morning instead of Kaiba. What about the girl and the two Americans? According to Marty, their trail was wiped out by the volcanic avalanche. 
Their trail. What about them? If they escape, they're still in the jungle. Marty will kill them. Lang, are you sure we can guarantee control of the middle jungle? Positively. Marty's so greedy for power that he'll agree to anything. In that case, we should do our part in taking Africa over for Germany. Yes, Faber, continue. And therefore, Courtney must be found and silenced at once. Confirm the Berlin order. What's the matter, Elise? Alan Courtney. Closing his mouth shouldn't be too difficult. That's right. Marty's warriors have located Courtney's safari. Have Marty attend to Courtney immediately. And then make sure about the girl and the two men. Mystery Queen would be a great stooge for a magician. She's becoming a menace. But she did save our lives. Yeah, so now Bob does anything she wants. Like us looking for evidence to prove Nazis started the eruption last night. Hey, come down here. That was right. I guess she is. Natives don't wear shoes. No, but somebody wearing them has been long here since the eruption. Whoever it was walked on this volcanic ash. Yeah. Let's find out where he came from. Listen. Drums again. They've been warming up all morning. Kaiba's returning to Tongara. It's probably about him. Tell us that Kaiba lives, but the mountain of fire condemned him last night. Marty is right. A stranger overcame me and carried me from the death which the gods had decreed. A stranger, Godai, whom Lothal had led to me. Choose Marty as your successor. Catch we want. With this and our other traps, it certainly should. footprints and no sign of nothing. Hey! Oh, we got what we came after. Look at this wire. It's new. No, there's a... This has been wrapped around a tunnel, I right then. A detonator box? I don't know. There's an impression in the earth of something like that over there. Hmm. Even if the blast didn't start the explosion, the natives would think that it did, if somebody could talk with them. Uncle Alan can. How far is it to his camp? We couldn't make it before dark. Fine. We'll get a fresh start in the morning. Uh-uh. We'll go right now. Well, that was a quick day. Well, I got here as quickly as I could. What's the trouble now? Kodak, the judge of the middle jungle, listens to Lothel and plans to speak to Bonnell Courtney. 
Well, if Kodak talks to Courtney, you will never be judged in Kodak's place. I will kill Buona Courtney. Lothellus warned your people against strangers. Why not let Godag think that a stranger killed Courtney? Oh, look, Queenie. I'm beginning to think she's haunting us. Shut up, Chuck. What is it, Lothel? The man called Courtney is in great danger. There is a shorter way to reach you. Come. Don't change much. Back in 14, we were waiting for the Germans to move. It's 39 now, and we're doing the same. Unfortunately, we haven't a strong world organization to take care of nations like Germany. What else can we do? For a change, move first. Yes, but that would make England the aggressor. You don't want that. But something ought to be done. Nations haven't any more right to start wars than I have to murder somebody. No. What'd you say? This is Chuck Kelly. We came to the United States to talk to Mr. Courtney. I'm afraid you got here a little too late. wants to know about Tonga's murder. The secret of the sword of Tongu is... Othello. The girl and those two men escaped the avalanche. I've declared that a stranger rescued him. Who else could have done it except one of those men? The girl must die. She's a niece of Courtney. Yes. And Godak will listen to whatever she tells him. And the men? Our people capture them. Those two will be blamed for everything. You're clever, Marty. They're Lothel's friends. She will defend him. He felt guilty, too. Even Kaiba will accuse them and her. Courtney was my best friend, Miss Pam. I know, Jack. It was mine, too. I was sent to Uncle Alan by England. These men say they came from the United States to see him. That's right. Let me ask the questions, Pam. Do you know the secret of the sword of Tongu? Only Mr. Courtney knew that. And he never told anybody. Because he promised he wouldn't. Do you know Lothel? No, I never saw her. Mr. Courtney and I talked about her now and then. I imagine he must have seen her. He never said he did. I'll free the animals. 
pile them in or try to recapture them, you create how much to do now. Uncle must have meant that LaFell knows the secret. That's the only logical reason for him mentioning her. Now that we need to talk to Queenie, we'll probably never see her again. Some of the cats are loose. You wait here. I know how to handle cats. Follow them in or try to recapture them. You create how much to do now. So my uncle must have meant that LaFell knows the secret. That's the only logical reason for him mentioning her. Now that we need to talk to Queenie, we'll probably never see her again. the catch The other door is open. You wait here. I know how to handle cats. by bumping off that lion. Speaking of favors, thanks, Bob. I wouldn't be standing if it hadn't been for you. I only wish we could have done as much for your uncle. 
so do I. I'll bet you the same men that murdered her out and freed those cats. Yeah, to give them a chance to get the pen while we was wrestling with the animals. Say, I better see if those cats are all right. The busy fighting, you ought to catch them easy. I turned the animals loose. What happened? Well, one of the men knocked the girl down. The spear passed over where she was standing. What do we do now? You stay here. I'm going back and listen. Don't bother us now. Are they on consignment? Yeah, to a museum. Got them all ready to ship. Look here. We're getting ourselves quite a collection of weapons. First a Mauser, now this hunting knife. And a Tom Gailey spear thrown in for a dividend. There's only one place that Tom Gailey got the rifle in this knife. Nazis. Yeah, the same Nazis who don't want us to learn the secret of the sword of Tongu. That's the reason they murdered your uncle, Pam. He could tell you the secret. I wonder if Brodak, the new judge of the tribes, would listen to me. After all, I am Alan Corthy's niece. No, we don't have to take that chance yet. Your uncle mentioned Lothel. If Queenie would only stay put for a little while, it'd be okay, but... I'm going to Tongara. Tongara? What for? To convince Godak that the Germans killed his friend, Mr. Courtney, and to ask him about Lothel. Yeah, no one except the Tongili has ever been there or talked with a judge. Except Mr. Courtney. You went there with him, didn't you? Uh, yes, but... I didn't count. <laughs> you do now. You know the way, and the Tongili will recognize you. Oh, when do we start? Oh, no, Chuck. You take Pam and Mr. Courtney's body back to Tambosa. Jungle Jack will furnish you with an escort from the Safari Boys. Someone has to tell the authorities there what happened. A fine pal you turn out to be. Okay, okay. If I don't see you again, I'll look for your head on a pole outside some native village. <laughs> don't worry, chum. I'll still wink at you. <laughs> <laughs> Anything, Marty? What I heard will help the boy on the land when I tell him in the morning. Hello? Oh, Weber. Oh, he is. Well, put him on. Well, it's about time he reported, Lang. What kept you so long? I phoned as soon as I talked to Marty. Miss Courtney and the Americans are still alive. Alan Courtney's murder has backfired. Backfired? How? Well, Godak is now inclined to believe that Lothel's warnings are true. I thought you planned to make it appear as though the Americans were responsible for the killing. I can't. The Tongibi spear was thrown at Miss Courtney. It shouldn't have been, but it was. If Godak hears about it, he won't believe Marty. And one of the Americans is going to him now. The American must never get there. What about the girl and the other man? Well, they're taking Alan Courtney's body to Tambosa. They won't be molested. The Tangili respect the mourners of the honored dead. In that case, I shall attend to them myself when they reach town. Now, what about Marty? Naturally, he's worried, and so am I. We have depended too much upon Marty. This time, have him do exactly what I'm now going to tell you. Every time I hear the jungle telegraph, I think something's up. That usually is. What do the drums say? Godak wants the chiefs to come see him. I hope it ain't a reception committee for Bob. Mr. Courtney's murder. Well, there's really a good chance that he'll listen to us if we get to him. Yes, if we get to him. They'll come just like Marty said. Yes, we take the secret trail and report to Marty. 
Two strangers coming toward our village. Good. That's what we wanted to know. How long will it be before they arrive? I do not know. I have other warriors watching. They'll come tell us in time. Mm -hmm. That gong means that Kodak is going to put on his robes. When the gong stops, Kodak will be at the upper throne. Good. Are you sure you can do exactly as I've told you? You're smart, Juana Lang. Your plan will make me the judge. Well, I'm glad you approve. I'll wait here. Kyber, the Godak waits so long? We waited before. Why not now? I'm made suspicious by all that has happened recently in the jungle. What do you mean? I think that Godak, our judge, should be guarded more carefully. Let us go to him. This is Godak, judge of the Tangili. Well, this time, everything's working all right. Bring him along. See now who likes strangers best, you or me. Looks as if the native 
Russians are coming after us. Yeah, that's just what I was thinking. Listen. Chance to talk to the Tongili now. What's the matter? Odax disappeared. Say, there's no place for us. Strangers is your friend, Kyber, and the fails. Why are they here now, just when Godak has disappeared? We're keeping out of range. Yeah, no doubt about it. But if I know them, there's something more to it than this. Something more to it than this is right. Look. seems possible, sir. I know. But Chatterton reports that Miss Courtney and one of the Americans are already out of the middle jungle. What about Miss Courtney's uncle? They brought Alan Courtney's body with them. He was murdered by Nazi agents. Hello, Rogers. Is the commissioner 
name? No, Dr. Moore. Mr. Chatterton is at the funeral. Alan Courtney. Oh, yes. Yes, I was told the sad news. And now I'm afraid I bring more. We hear the jungle telegraph at the farm, you know? Yes, I know. One of the two Americans with Miss Courtney stayed in the jungle, didn't he? Mr. Bob Elliott. He remained with Jungle Jack, safari leader for Mr. Courtney. Indeed. Then it must be those two men whom the Tongini are trying to kill. Blaming them for the abduction of Godak, the all-powerful judge of the Middle Jungle tribes. Something up with them Tonginis, or else they'd be right behind us. They're keeping out of range. Yeah, I doubt about it. But if I know them, there's something more to it than this. Something more to it than this is right. Look. Save us again, Othell. Mr. Courtney said before he died, you could tell us what we wanted to know. But Bawana Courtney was a true friend of the Tongili. So is Jungle Jack, and I hope I can prove to be one too. Tell me, Othell, what is the secret that gives Godak his great power in the middle jungle? Just some animal. She's gone. through that fire. No. The both are dead. Godak, our judge, is gone. The ancient secret of the sword is lost with him. Don't be so sure, Cairo, about Godak. Reports should be coming back to Tongara by now from the searching parties. He may be safe. I'm not going directly back to Tongara, so watch Cairo. Don't let him escape. He's a traitor. Brought you here, Godak, to protect you. Bothel is your enemy, and Kaiba obeys her. You're wanted, Barna Lang. Guard Godak with your lives. save Godak and take him back to Tangara. Godak has a secret of the sword. I must save him. Yes, but we must do it so he'll believe you. Then he'll choose you to succeed him, and then he'll tell you that secret. I'll learn the secret of the sword, then kill Godak. <laughs> That's right, Marty. And with the aid of Germany, you rule this middle jungle as no man has ever ruled it before. Tell me, and I will do it. You go back to Tangara and accuse Lothel and Kaiba of abducting Godak. Kaiba, with the help of Lothel, controls the secret of the sword by holding Godak captive. For only Godak knows the secret. Kaiba sent me to search for Godak. We found his trail, but it disappeared in the swamp. One of the captors wore shoes. So did the two strangers, Kaiba's friends, who died in the fire. I don't know any strangers. I told Godak to choose you instead of me. Why then should you accuse me of betraying him? I 
believe that you and Kyber know where Godak is. But if you return him unharmed, Kyber's life will be spared. But if you fail, Kyber walks through the fire. I wish you could go all the way with me. So do I. But I've got to get back to camp and ship them lands and leverage. The river runs right past Tambosa. You should get there a little after dark. Okay. Why take chances, Lang? Well, they won't suspect Dr. Bork speaking to her own farm. After all, she's a famous agriculturist. Sweet, of course. <laughs> yes, Danka, what is it? Hello? Dr. Bork? This is Lang, speaking from the Valgan Cave. My foreman at Experimental Farm. Both Courtney Slavic Chief and the American are dead. The low fellow's playing right into our hands by hunting for Godak. Marty will rescue him tomorrow. Thank you, Denka. I'll attend to the matter at this end. And I'll tell Mr. Chatterton about the drums. More jungle telegraph, Dr. Bork? Your friends have been sacrificed to Tongita vengeance. Sacrificed? More Nazi murders, you mean? After what you told Rogers earlier, sir, we expected the worst, but... trace the wire of the rifle of a spear. But this knife is different. It's new and it's an English make. Trace it where, Chuck? Nazis killed your uncle with this, Pam. The same Nazis that murdered Jungle Jack and Bob. We failed to get those Nazis out there in the jungle. But there's a chance this knife was bought right here in Tambosa. I say, if it was... If it was, we've got to find out who bought it and who took it into the jungle. I know this brand, sir. And all the merchants in town that might sell it. Their stores are closed now. But I'll toddle along to thy homes if you think it best. Good man, Rogers. Yes, sir. Nazis. <laughs> you haven't a very high opinion of German espionage, have you, Mr. Keller? Not of their methods and morals, but they're smart. Well, I must go. Let me again express my sympathy for the tragic death of your uncle. I've lost a friend. So have the Tongili. Good night. Good night, Dr. Boy. She lost a friend. She wasn't even at the funeral. I wish I'd have stayed with Bob. are in the middle jungle. We also know they want to control the Targili. Yes, by playing on the greed for power of some native who wants to take Godak's place. Abduction of Godak is a key to the whole situation. Quite. The Nazis will torture from him the secret of his power, tell it to their own candidate, whom the Targili will then obey. And so rule the tribes through that traitor. That must be their plan. It won't work if we grab their agents. And we got a better chance of doing that right here than we have in the jungle. Hello there, Chatterton here. Yes. Oh, hello, Rogers. Yes. Good man. Rogers has traced the knife. Where was baby bought? From a character called Tambosa Tim. He keeps a grog shop. I know the place. It's on the waterfront. 
said like don't complain here keep what's left over thanks mister is your boss around my boss that's him there the big fella talking always like that tell him i want to see him when he's got time got plenty of that mate well as i was saying the tide fell 20 feet in them parts and when it ebbed, we turned out all hands and patched the holes in the bottom of the schooner's hull. <laughs> and floated her off them rocks at full tide. <laughs> I dry and handsome. <laughs> Someday I'll launch you, Bills. Now, what is it you want? A couple over there wants to talk to you. Huh? What about? Search me. <laughs> if I did, I'd probably find a lot of things I lost. I'm Tambo to Tim. What can I do you for? Know where I can get another knife like this? <laughs> when did you find this one? Picked it up in the jungle. Well, how did it happen you brought it here? A friend claims you can tell me where to get another, if anyone can. That's smart friend you've got. <laughs> uh, you, know, you know Captain Gray? No. The captain of the Silver Star, the schooner, is tied up outside. He, uh, he got a gross of them kind of rippers and a deal once. Maybe he hasn't sold them all yet. Thanks. I'll go there now. Tell him I sent you. Maybe you get a better price. Okay, I will. You don't happen to be Captain Drake, do you? Huh? I say you don't happen to be Captain Drake. Well, he's down below. Down that companionway there. Thanks. like this. I'd like to buy them. Tambo is a Tim, huh? That does it. The old pirate. I don't trust his friends. Well, we're trusted by Mr. Chatterton, the Royal Commissioner. How are you, man? Well, ain't that nice? If you're looking for trouble, Drake, you'll have to find it. But uh, we're looking for some more knives like this one. Knives and trouble go together now, don't they? Close call. Jungle Jack is back in his camp, and I'm here. And Mr. Kelly and Miss Courtney will certainly be glad to see you. Oh, I'm sorry I missed them, but I took my time coming through town not knowing the way. No, they should be here any minute now. I hope that knife crew you've been telling me about really gives us a lead to the Nazis. So do I. I've been to all the merchants in town, sir. Some of them know the make of that knife, but none sells it. But Rogers, didn't you telephone me a short while ago to tell me that Tambosa Tim has knives like Mr. Kelly's? Telephone? No, sir, I didn't tell them. 
and Pam and Chuck have been framed. Remember them? Nice young couple? Mm, of course I remember them. I never forget nobody, never. I sent them over to Captain Drake. Where can I find him? On a schooner out in front. He's got the kind of knives they want. Friendly man, Captain Drake is. Thanks. And who may you be, if they don't mind my asking? Not that it matters, but I'm Captain Drake. You're just the man I came to see. I'm looking for the friends, Miss Courtney and Mr. Kelly. They were sent here by Tambosa Tim. Never met them, too. Never saw them. Never nobody around here like that. They came to see you about a hunting knife. A hunting knife, you say? And what would a sailor know about hunting knives? I think you can answer that question, Drake. That's the knife, I mean, there on your belt. Where have you got my friend? I don't like being threatened, mister. I don't want any trouble, either. Well, don't get below. that control over the middle jungle can now be guaranteed. German control of the middle jungle is essential to our plan for gaining control of all Africa. And strategists agree that the European nation, which controls Africa, controls the approaches to all Europe. Anything else? Dr. Bork has been informed that the two Americans are volunteer agents helping the British. <laughs> Let me judge that. How about Elliot? And the second American? <laughs> I sent him to Captain Drake aboard the Silver Star. He's looking for his friend and the English girl. <laughs> and who may you be, if they don't mind my asking? Not that it matters, but I'm Captain Drake. You're just the man I came to see. I'm looking for friends, Miss Courtney and Mr. Kelly. They were sent here by Tambosa Tim. Never met them two. Never saw them. Never nobody around here like that. They came to see you about a hunting knife. A hunting knife, you say? And what would a sailor know about hunting knives? I think you can answer that question, Drake. That's the knife I mean, there on your belt. Where have you got my friends? 
I don't like being threatened, mister. I don't want any trouble, either. That'll do it. Get below. surprised when he comes back with the police. I want to know about the other two. Uh, you can question them just like you want later. If you're sure of that, I'll go to Chatterton's and question Elliot now. Uh. That's right, Rand. Section 9, up river. Oh, how do you do, Dr. Bork? Would you sit down? Thank you. Will you excuse me for one moment? Good. Section 10. Oh, hello, Milo. Chatterton here. Yes. Yes, I want you to patrol the usual boundaries. And that does it. Does what, Mr. Chatterton? Assures me that my constabulary is searching the vicinity for Mr. Kelly and Miss Courtney. You mean those two have disappeared? Worse, Dr. Worse. They've fallen into some sort of trap. Mr. Kelly's right, then. Nazis are here in Tambosa. Here, as well as in the jungle. And the other man, Mr. Elliot. Have you heard any more details about his death? He wasn't killed by the natives after all. He's alive. Are you certain? He just left here. Came in here to change his clothes. He took some of my men with him. But you shall meet Elliot when he returns. And meanwhile, Doctor, may I ask you a few questions about the middle jungle? Anything I know, I shall be glad to tell you. What about Godek, the all-powerful judge of the middle jungle tribes? Until he names his successor, he's the only living person who knows where the sword of Tongu is hidden. And to control that secret is the reason why the Nats has abducted him. Seems obvious. If the Nazis can force him to tell them the secret, they can name the new judge. We agree, Dr. Bork. That is what Mr. Elliot, Mr. Kelly, and Miss Courtney and I are trying to prevent. I'm beginning to think that Captain Drake expected me back and didn't want to be questioned. No, his crew either, sir. Where's your other man? Oh, I'm right below, sir. Oh, well, I'll join him. You two stay here. My friends were on this tub, and if we find Drake, I think we'll find them with him. Any luck? None, sir. Not a sign of anything wrong anywhere. Have you looked around this, Kevin? Just coming to do it, sir. Better take a squint after. I'll look around here. Yes, sir.
belongs to Mr. Kelly. He's interested in astrology. That's the sign of the zodiac he was born under. He's not on this schooner, sir. Not unless he's in the hold. You better have a look. Yes, sir. I'm searching the hold. What if you better help it? Nothing at all, sir. No lead on Drake. But I did find something which proves that Chuck Kelly was on this boat. Then Drake did get that knife you saw on him, from Kelly. Yes, that knife was used to murder Miss Courtney's uncle, Alan Courtney. That happened in the jungle, didn't it, sir? Yes, it gave us our necessary connection between those Nazis and Drake. I see. If we can get Drake and make him talk. We may obtain a lead that will expose the entire setup. But we also have to find Chuck Kelly and Miss Courtney. Tom says nothing in the hole, sir. But he's taking one last look through the cabins. What do we do now, sir? Get off this scow, but plant somebody on the shore to watch her. Yes, I understand. Anything else? On Berlin. Very well. I'll wait until you decode it. Faber just received another message. Suppose we started the war. So much the better. It's only old team. What does Dr. Bork want to know? Well, Drake is holding one of the Americans and the English girl. The other American got out of the jungle and suspects Drake. I never liked Drake. Is he reliable? Bork doesn't feel she can trust him any too far. What about the shipment of Moses? All the rifles are safe. But Chatterton knows more about Godak than Bork thought he did. You mean he knows where we are holding Godak? No, but he's found out why Godak is so important. And Bork wants immediate action to force all on the move with the British. And I'm going to give it to her. That's good, love. All right, Marty. I'm taking you to the place where I'm keeping Godak a prisoner. Then you rescue him. Then Godak will like me. Make me the next judge and tell me the secret of the soul of Tongu. Then I will kill Godak. That's what I want. With the aid of Germany, you rule the people of the Middle Jungle. How about this uh, mystery queen, Lothel? The Tongili think I am good now. They do not believe Lothel. that I am a true friend of all loyal Tongili? Yes, Lothel. I'm sure of you now. Then you and I can save your people from these strangers and from Marty, the traitor. Marty? These men plan to let Marty save you. That is why you were brought here. They believe that you'll be grateful and that you will choose Marty to succeed you. Marty will never learn now where the sword of Tongu is hidden. What is it you want me to do? bargain with these strangers. Oh, I see. You're paying for more time to do what? To gather your people and bring them here so that they can save you, seeing for themselves those who are enemies and traitors. Now, you wait here. When one of my men signals, you come and get good at it. I've been expecting you. Expecting me? Why? I'm impatient to leave here. And I know that now you will let Marty take me back to Tongaro. Did you two fools talk loud enough so that he could hear you? We've never said a word in these caves. Either about Marty or the plan. He speaks the truth. Well, in that case, Godak, you're going to be sorry you let me know that you could read minds. There's no need to torture me yet. What do you mean? I've decided to tell Marty the secret. You tell Marty where the sword of Tongu was hidden? Why? To save my life and my power, I will choose Marty to succeed me, as you desire. You mean you'll cooperate with us fully? Is that it? That is the bargain I offer you. Well, in that case, I accept.
send out every available man. There's no doubt that Miss Courtney and Mr. Kelly are in the hands of Nazi agents. That was Marlowe up over. Mr. Elliot doesn't think they've left Ambrose, sir. He's gone to search the civil start again. Why, the man's mad. Mr. Elliot is convinced, sir, that Mr. Kelly and Miss Courtney have been hidden by the Nazis somewhere on board the schooner. I got a trip wire rigged in the companion way. Hit that wire and an automatic rifle does the rest. Drake don't let no flies on him, no sir. I'm glad Timbo that Tim warned me about the trip wire. Oh, so am I. They're watching the Silver Star from shore. Somebody will be after you, sure. The guard has been removed. How did you get back here? Good captain never leaves his ship, does he now? I had an empty packing case ready for emergency. Are they in there? No place else. I'll speak to them later. So I say, question them here. Kill them, but let me join your men in the jungle. I don't want the ship abandoned. It will prove to Chariton that it is Nazi. And may lead to the discovery that it's been running guns on her for the natives. I can't face the authorities, Dr. Bork. I don't think they'll believe me. Is that the knife that led them here? That's the Ripper. It killed Courtney. It might as well be used to kill his niece. You agree with me, then? Yes. Keeping Mr. Kelly and Miss Courtney here alive is too dangerous. certainly gave Drake a chance to come back. I hope so. That's why we're here. I'm going below. Thank you, sir.
honorable man. There's no doubt that Miss Courtney and Mr. Kelly are in the hands of Nazi agents. That was Marlowe, up over. Mr. Elliot doesn't think they've left him, sir. He's gone to search the Silver Star again. Why, the man's mad. Mr. Elliot is convinced, sir, that Mr. Kelly and Miss Courtney have been hidden by the Nazis somewhere on board the schooner. Most of Tim, I'm sure they're still on board. Taking the guard away certainly gave Drake a chance to come back. I hope so. That's why we're here. I'm going below. Very good, sir. We didn't hear that. Drake saved my life by yelling a warning. Getting eaten, I guess, with whoever double-crossed him. You didn't miss the murderer by more than minutes. Long enough for him to get away. Anything else interesting under there? No, no, I don't want to know. I don't mind looking into it. Good. Drake was killed with the same knife that was used to murder Pam's uncle. That tripwire operated some sort of German automatic rifle. Automatic, huh? I wonder if they got any more of those babies around here. Hey, look what I found. Did you find this under the bunk? Mm -hmm. What those? A full report on the real ship's cargo. Rifles, Mausers, and ammunition. What a haul. No such luck. That cargo was unloaded. I know, because I searched this tub earlier. If we find the arsenal, we find the Nazis. Those rifles are probably on their way to the natives by now. Papers indicate a number of shipments. We know there aren't many natives on, but there must be an arsenal near here someplace. Pam's right, Chuck. The Nazis wouldn't arm the natives until they have them under their control. And that's really what we've got to stop. Okay, where do we go from here? Tambosa Thames. Pam, you'll report to Chatterton. I'll phone him and tell him you're coming. The constable will escort you. Back in five minutes, you do your stuff, huh? Nothing will please me more. You looking for somebody? Yeah, where's your boss? And boss at Tim. And he'll be here any minute. I like visitors, I do. And I always give them the best, the very best. <laughs> He's busy. Is he? Now, what made you ask that? 
I never go no place. Never do. <laughs> I let people come to me. <laughs> well, what can I do you for? Boil me in oil. Tear my skin off, strip by strip, and you won't get another yarn out of me because I'm telling you the truth. Sure, sure, but where is Bob now? He went out the back door, just like I said. And he told me to tell you to follow him. Yeah, I know what you said. But why did he leave here in the first place? He said he saw someone looking in that window. If you're a lion, you hogshead, I'll be back. Don't move. Brent is already on his way to something he wants to speak to you, too. You talk too much. Frisk him. I'm Swedish. The idea of another war seems less real to me, perhaps, than it does to you. Yes. Sweden has managed to remain honorably at peace with the world for quite a long time. But these Nazi agents... Where's Pam? Well, I've been waiting for her here, ever since Mr. Elliot called from the riverfront to tell me that you and she were safe. Haven't you heard from Bob since? No, not a word. Gentlemen, if you will excuse me. Good night, Mr. Kelly. Good night, Dr. Barton. Good night, Rogers. Good night. What's happened? The commissioner's office. Roger's here. What? Yes. Yes, I'll tell him. What was it, Rogers? Two of your constables have just found the officer who was escorting Miss Courtney. Dead? No, fortunately. Unconscious. Struck down from behind. Barbie's gone, too. Hey, Elliot, to be curious about Germany. You wanted to find out about us for a long time. You won't have to wait any longer than tomorrow. Is there another prisoner coming? Yes. Yeah. Elliot's old friend, Mr. Kelly. I don't think old friends should be separated. I must depart now. Don't let them escape. We won't. our man, but I shall question the other two in the morning. And now, tell me about your magnificent success in the jungle. What about Godak? He has agreed to cooperate with us fully. He will name Marty to succeed him. Godak must know that Marty was willing to kill him. What do we really want of Godak? Well, the secret, of course, that gives him his power as the supreme judge of the Middle Jungle Tribes. The hiding place, that is, of the sword of Tangu. He cannot act as judge of the Middle Jungle unless he carries that sword. I shall let Berlin know your achievements at once. One thing more. Yes? Godak has agreed to order the execution of Lothel, the mystery queen of the jungle. Is it customary for Germany to keep our allies in chains? You'll be released, Godak, as soon as Lang knows that you're telling the truth. Then I will be freed soon. Marty will find the sword of Tongu where I told him to look for it. I won't be sorry leaving these caves. Another day, another game of cards. Am I tired of this job? Neither Marty nor the strangers have discovered that you were leading them to their destruction. It's the only way, Lothal, to rid our jungle of these enemies and traitors. Control of the natives means helping Germany gain control of all Africa. It also means war in Europe. That's why I came back here purposely, Marty, to see that nothing goes wrong. I have fixed everything. How about the sword of Tangu? I saw the sword where Godak said it was. Well, bring Godak back here tomorrow. You're 
you're a Nazi, Tambosa Tim. Oh, I am. Prove it. Sheridan was right. He said I couldn't, so I won't even try. Nothing unlawful, sir. Like this, you mean? Well, you get over here, too. You can't scare Tambosa Tim that easy. Kill me and the English law and hang you for it. That won't help you. Now, where are the Nazis holding my friends? There's nothing he can do now. Guess you mean it. There's no mine south of here. You'll find your friends there. Together with some guns from Captain Drake's schooner. There's only one mine, sir. If you're not telling the truth... I am, this time. And you've also confessed being a Nazi. Then I rest you the name of his majesty, the king. You're indeed. If I were you, I'd talk. Talk about what? Who's in charge of Nazi agents here in Tambosa? I got Tim and gave Kelly the slip. Nobody's following me now. But Kelly knows about the mine. You fool. You listened. I ordered you to shoot. I didn't think Tamboso Tim would talk. And if he hadn't... Who asked you to think? Now I must sacrifice all our munitions. Keller will take constables to the mine. Yes, but... I will not let the English have our supplies. Fortunately, I prepared for just such an unpleasant emergency. Keller will never see his friends again. Yes, Mr. Kelly is taking my car. I'm leaving for the mine now. Yes, you better send two more cars. What? Oh, you sent at least six constables. Mr. Elliot and Miss Courtney must be saved. Only those Nazis will stay outside a little longer. 